This video will discuss the influence of slope, aspect, and elevation with respect to tree growth at an introductory level. So first of all, what I'm going to do is draw a basic slope. And here we go. This is a cross-section of a hill. This is quite steep on the other side. So here we have a cross-section of a hill. And let's imagine we have um, trees growing, different species, where, whatever they may be in a uh, different locale. Now, re in regards to slope, um, let's take a look at that first of all. Uh, what influence does the slope of the hill have on the um, on tree growth? Very basic things. The steeper the slope, the less water there is in the soil. So, generally what we can say with confidence is that it is going to be um, dry or drier at the top and more and it can be almost to the point of being wet at the bottom and mid slope of course is ideal most farm uh, land everyone would love to have is around here where you get the ideal location but anyways slope can dramatically influence the type of uh, moisture in the soil, which in some trees uh, are more adept at uh, getting, uh, living on drier sites, for example, like jack pine could grow well on a drier site compared to on a wetter site, we could have tamarack, black ash growing on a more mucky site, and in the mid slopes, we could have mid slopes, we could have maple. Okay, so that's the effects of slope. Uh, in regards to the um, moisture okay and of course along the way generally we find that the soils generally speaking are more coarse near the top and more fine at the bottom so you would see more um, you would see more here your um, clay and silt and up there at the top of the hill you would see more of your sands and the whole world is things mixed in so you can appreciate there's a range in between so again uh, based on the silvix um, of the species you'll be studying this will influence where you will find trees okay so slope will influence those factors along the way so keep that in mind as a basic level so what I want to do now is uh, go to the next slide and what we're going to talk about here very quickly is the whole idea we're going to draw a sl uh, slope again and here we go here's the slope a cross section of a hill and this time what we're going to be talking about is aspect. An aspect, what that means, of course, uh, uh, that means in respect to the sun, which way is the hill facing? Okay, so this would be your uh, south aspect and, um, and, then, and the north aspect, and those are your two extremes. Okay, so on the south aspect, what you will find, uh, and you can really notice this on many maps, in the south aspect, you're more apt to find the species that like it a little bit hotter, a little, a uh, little warmer, and drier. So you you can see quite often that there's um, hardwoods more apt to be located on these type of uh, sites. While when you go to the other site, um, the cooler site. Uh, the north side, uh, what you were, you will see it, it is a bit uh, cooler on that side because again you're on the shadier side and quite often a bit more moist. And so what you could have here is more apt to have particularly conifers uh, growing in this area uh, more compared to the hardwoods. Again, this is a, a basic 
intro um, generalization, but it gives you an idea of the influence of aspect on soils. And hemlock is one species that would be over here, maybe spruces, right? While on the other side, um, while on the warmer side, you could see maples and oaks, okay? And cedar, again. This is just gives you a general idea of the influence of aspect. Of course, I haven't discussed east and west aspects, but we're looking at the extremes here. All right. Now, I um, want to discuss uh, is the whole idea of elevation. And this can be quite involved. And... And elevation is not a big deal in Ontario. It is more of an influence in British Columbia. And for elevation, uh, what we do is we will look at, for some species in your silvics, is at what elevation do these trees grow the best? They all can grow at different, the same, at different elevations, but what uh, elevations do certain species grow best? So we may have, uh, for example, western red cedar more at the bottom, and then lodgepole a little higher and drier and so on. But so, so for elevation, we will be studying the species in regards to which ones grow the best. Red alder in BC likes to grow more at the bottom of the hills. Okay. And, uh, and hemlock at the higher elevations. So just keep in mind, the silvics will discuss that further when you study them for the species I've asked you to learn from British Columbia. Okay, so that gives you just a quick introduction uh, 